Norseman. Hope your week is starting off well. There's a toy and game drive for Ronald McDonald House this week. And here's Mr. Owens for more information. This week is a VHS drive and ASB is collecting uh, board games, video games, uh, personal uh, travel toiletries, things like that that will go to tweens and teens at the Ronald McDonald House. A lot of young people have to spend time in the hospital as they get better or at places like the Ronald McDonald House and they don't have a lot of access to games and entertainment things to do. Got an extra fidget spinner, uh, got something like that, Rubik's Cube, coloring books, those kinds of things. Those are the things that we're collecting. It's not a toy drive as much as it is an entertainment drive. It is a VHS drive that goes all this week. If your teacher, your fifth period teacher, or any teacher wants to participate, they just need to fill out the Google Drive uh, document that I uh, emailed out last week and get it to me. We'll get them a box and collect whatever you can this week. Our well, first pickup will be on the 12th, which is a Friday, and then the following Monday we'll come back to see if you have any other goods. We'll be taking it to the Ronald McDonald House. We'll be dressing up as superheroes to deliver that and spend some time with some kids who absolutely need something to take their minds off some of the tough stuff that they're dealing with. This Friday marks the second Rocktober Showcase and expect to see some talent on the East Lawn stage. We'll turn over this news flash to Daniela to talk about the controversy over locked doors. I've noticed that the narcs in the morning seem to lock the doors at 725 when the first period bell rings and it's just a big problem for us students who have first period because while we're late we don't want to be more late by trying to find another door that's open or trying to find someone that can open the door for us so this can affect um, our uh, tardy tardy records our GPAs etc and it's just a big issue that we need to get a resolution to so we're gonna. He we're here to interview some students, faculty members, some narcs to see if this issue is gonna continue. So, stay tuned. What's your opinion on the doors being locked in the morning? Uh, I think it's frustrating because then you have to wait for someone to open it, and then it just takes longer, and I'm late to class. <laughs> um, it's kind of annoying because I have to walk all the way around just to go and check in. It makes me really mad because sometimes I'll get here really early and I want to go to the bathroom or I want to go talk to a teacher, but I can't do that because the doors are locked. Um, I don't like it. It's really annoying because we have to be outside and we have to like walk around to like go inside. And like if there ever is a door open, like the narcs would just like kick us out. Why are the doors locked in the mornings? So th those doors, um they're not necessarily supposed to be locked. I don't know if they were locked, but we want some access. We are trying to keep students away from the quiet study area and the student center during period one. So uh, that is purposeful. Um, I think the locking occurred because we had some people that were unaware that they needed to be unlocked. Okay, so hopefully that'll get fixed immediately. So what do you think first period students should do if they run across a locked door? Well, first of all, um, several of the doors will be locked. Two of the doors should not be locked. The, the door leading into the attendance office, one of those doors should be open, and the doors leading into the student center from the outside cafeteria area by the pool. Uh, if you find those locked, you can find a campus supervisor. They all have a key. They can unlock them. Or you can find an administrator. They can unlock them as well. Well guys, now you know why they lock the doors in the morning, so make sure you're not too late to class. And if you have any more questions that we didn't get to answer in this video for you, make sure you ask some of the campus supervisors that you see around the school. Well, anyways, thanks for listening and hope you guys have a great Valhalla day. To be early is on time. This is the lesson he gave to me. To be on time is late. Oh my and goodness, to be late good. is unacceptable. Hope to see you there at the football game this Friday, but if you're not able to make it, check out our live stream on OrangeNationTV.com or on our YouTube channel, Orange Nation TV. That's all for this week, Norseman, and uh, stay tuned every Monday for school news and updates. See, see you, you next week. week.